I'm going to show you guys that this Maxo UL tape is not actually a Maxo UL. It's a Type 2 Chrome cassette. It's a C90 cassette, so it has to be around from the 1980s, maybe. Probably this is from the 1970s, maybe. Probably the 1970s, like late 70s, like 78 through 79. I think this is from around 1978, this particular tape of mine, because it doesn't have the blue spools. Other people's tapes have the blue spools, but mine doesn't. So I'm thinking this is from 1978 or 79, which makes this over 40 years old. So what happens if I if I record on a tape that is 40 years old? Will it chew it? Will it record as normal? Let's see. <clears throat> I got my DSi here for the recordings. So. There we go, and I'm gonna re I'm gonna use this as an example. I'm gonna hit pause, record. Let me get all the crappy junk on there. I'm gonna turn my volume boot down because I don't want to over modulate in the tape. Here we go. See if it's whoops. It's recording along. As you can see, the little light on my cassette player records, and it's recording on that forty plus year old cassette. Yeah, 40 year old cassette still works. You think, oh, you should replace this, it's gonna go bad. Hasn't gone bad in over, over four decades, and it's gonna last probably a decade more until it degrades entirely. So, yeah, these tapes are getting rare and expensive. So, it's better to keep them than throwing them away in the garbage, because these are getting rare. And I see these tapes going for like five bucks on eBay. For like a lot of like four. Like I see them going for five bucks. But some people bid like crazy. Like they bid like $50 on just five cassettes. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, it's a two <clears throat> minute and 41 second recording. I'm gonna stop that there and I'm gonna rewind it. It's gonna be demonstration purposes only. I'm not gonna record the whole thing on video. <laughs> Oops, some fingers on the camera. <laughs> It made a decently sounding recording. Yeah, it's decent. It's a decent sounding recording on this little cassette. So this is AC bias recording on this Onan cassette player, which I have for over a year. And it still works just fine. Sound like buzzing, but probably because the hotel I'm at has a lot of RF noise and that's why you hear some buzzing. So that's how you record on a 40 year old plus cassette. Maxo UDXL2 C90 from at least 1970.